What's going on today? Well, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to doing some GHD sit-ups, right? And how, where do those fall on your likeness, like scale? Zero. Like what's below zero there? Yeah. I haven't done any since regionals. I'm in denial that GHD sit-ups even exist and then boom, CrossFit Games. <laughs> Uh, my first competition right here is the rookie lane. This is the rookie lane, yes. This is my fourth year. Uh, my, my fifth year. Fourth year. I'm a rookie. Third year. Third year. Second year. Second year. Second year. Second year. Second year. Second year. It's changed a lot because of the size of the venue we're dealing with. Uh, they were pretty much self-contained at the track and everybody was right there. If you needed someone, you'd walk right over to a tent and they were available. They were in the stands right there. Everything was available right there in that small track environment. Here we have athletes checking in all the way up top. We bring them down here, not to mention the size of the field we have out here. Just moving them around, getting from point A to point B with enough time has, has been our biggest challenge and we're, we're learning so uh, we've, we've got it pretty much wired right now. It started from when uh, at orientation and we walked them in here. Uh, they all pretty much stopped the second they came out of the tunnel and were just aghast. None of them knew how big the stadium was. So when they walked in on the floor, which is different than being in the, in the stands, when they walked in on the floor here, they were amazed, they love it. I asked them, hey, how does this feel being in here? And they were like, this is awesome. one in the books. Yeah, that's right. How'd it go? It was hard. Expose my weaknesses. So guys, Gary, great job, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Right, go get him. You know, I had a plan going in, so I didn't care that people were ahead of me at the start. I just went at my pace. I knew if I stuck to my pace that I could definitely finish this. I was a little surprised that I finished first. So we spoke to you in the beginning. You said, uh, "Have fun and don't finish last." And you exceeded your goals. Yeah, yes, I exceeded my goals. I had fun and I did not finish last. <laughs> I didn't know that I could come out here and take a first. I just knew that I was competitive with uh, these guys in my age group. You know, I was competitive during the open workouts and um, the qualifiers. Uh, you know, I moved up to second overall, which. At some level, surprised me, but you know, at least gave me the confidence to know that if I stuck to the plan and listened to my coaches, <laughs> that I could do this. Do you come here to compete? Do you come here because you want to win, or you want to have fun? Obviously, it's to have fun, but it is to win. I mean, my objective is my objective for this year was to be on the podium at the end of, on Thursday. Brady, go get him, bud. It's awesome, man. Everybody, we're all just so privileged and grateful to get here. There's a thousand things can take you out any time during the year, right? Whether it's your training, accidents, sickness, whatever. So to be able to come here and participate with other people that have been through it, it's just an incredible privilege and something to be immensely grateful for. We're all very, very fortunate. Seriously, CrossFit Athletic where I train and my coach Paul 
he just does not give up on the coach totally over, you know, really carefully over training, but also really careful with my rest. You know, I myself am just enjoying the moment. I just think it's awesome to be here. You know, winning would be icing on the cake, but we've got a long way to go. Like, you know, everyone's going to have workouts that are tough for them. You know, so started off good. So it was really nice to get that start. Thank you very much. So you got hung up on the muscle ups. I did. It was so weird. Tell me, I, mean, I can't explain it. The number of volume you had to do today, could you do that in training and practice? Or? I could. I have. Oh, I don't know what happened. Maybe I, mean, I was just excited or I don't know. So when not uh, regroup? Yes. Don't let that get you done. No, I can't. I won't. The girl won. Who is that? Oh, Pamela Who's Gagnon. She, um, she is on the gymnastics uh, CrossFit team. She's also out of North Carolina. She's like amazing. She's an amazing person. But, you know, nothing against the young people, but the young people, you're strong. When you get to be our age or older, that shit's hard. <laughs> but I was 250 pounds two years ago. I'm like half a century old. I believe in this. I am a CrossFit believer. And anybody, who thinks they can't do this? It's crazy. It's amazing. Matt, nice job. Nice job, dude. Okay. Cool. I know, huh? Woo! Good job. The brother was the one that got me out. Because when everyone was like saying, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you're not gonna be able to make it in the open anymore, so you gotta do it. That still wasn't the dream. The dream was to go the open, but when your little brother qualifies for the games, and he's like, hey, I want you to do this with me, I can't say no to that. My goal has been to make it here in, with the open division, the best in the world, the best of the best of the best. It's still the goal. Um, but this year was really a perfect storm, you know? I mean, we my knee out last year at the regionals. Tried to rehab and come back this year, wasn't able to make it to the Open. Brother qualifies, he says, hey, I want you to do it with me. Yeah, yes, I want to win. I'm not going to lie. I want to win, but that's not the main deal. I want to be, I'm here with my brother. So what did you whisper in his ear before event one? He came up and he said some sweet somethings. Like, you're awesome, it'll be great. Uh, he said, I love you, man. Strategy stuff. And, strategy. Then, and then that, yeah. And I love you. Yeah. Did you give him strategy? I think he oh, yeah. A, I think he gave him a kiss on the and cheek, a kiss. too. Or Italian, kiss. that's what happens, you know. <laughs> He's yeah. telling me that out of all these years, everybody bugging him to do Masters, that it took his bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That, well, that's how you break down walls. You know, it's family that can do it. And is it hard work or is it some Grendler genes that makes you a games athlete? What's, what's the uh, hard, hard, work. hard work. So yeah, hard yeah. Work. Parents gave us some good genes for sure. That a year ago is when we said, when I asked Bill, I said, you know, hey man, I, I really want to try to go to the CrossFit Games Masters in 40 or 40, 40, 40, 40. And he's and I said, do you think I could do it? And he goes. I think you can, and here's what we got to do. Day one starts tomorrow. And that's how it happened. Like right away. Yeah. Right away. So you have to get on a plane. You can't just f around. You got to. No, you you're, if you're in, on. you're in. Yeah. If you're in and you want to go, then then you're in. But there's a commitment. Get set. Make sure you have the bar back. And set, and then do your thrust. Okay. Is she ready? She's ready. Where's she sitting at right now? She's in third. She's been doing it nine years. This is her fifth years? CrossFit Games. What? She's old school. She is old school. What? You're old, old school. Old school CrossFit. <laughs> um, yes. I'm always nervous. Terribly nervous. So you're a veteran. I know, but I don't... It's just... It's fun. It's nice to show women that you can do this. Maybe not at a competitive level, but you can do this to move, to stay active. It's just to get up and do it. At whatever level. You know, um, the boxes are amazing. And you just find the right fit. And you go in and you do what you can. I, I'm a flight attendant. So I work out in a lot of boxes all over the country. And yeah, it's really cool to see people from other boxes here cheering you on. And it's fun.
target weight? Where were you? Uh, honestly, I was, I was hoping to get like 275. 280 is like a PR for me, so it's, it, was a, it was a good day. How about do you want to uh, repeat the champion? Yeah. But this is my last year in this division, so at 49, I'm looking to, to take it, so hopefully it'll happen. Thank Are you, you happy Drummer jumped in there this year? Yes, I am, actually. We were, we, you know, it's funny, we've been kind of poking that sleeping bear for a long time. We get online and harass him and call him out. So he did it this year. He's solid, man. He's, a, he's an animal. Thanks, man. Hi. You guys enjoying it? Yep. Yeah, it's great. Thank you so much. You have fun out there? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Thank you. How'd you do? Uh, yeah. You having fun though? Yeah. That's all that matters. They, actually, in the past, they uh, they have been out in here. This is just kind of, uh, we've done it in here. This is the first year we've brought them back in a while. But Are, uh, are we done with the... The downstairs. No, I never say I'll never talk in absolutes in regards to the games. Every year something changes. So who knows? experience just being here and being in this venue so there's so many amazing athletes is it bringing you your game to the next level here um, so I always know that when I go into a competition adrenaline <laughs> is a big help so I knew even coming into this that you know that, um, the you adrenaline would am I staring at a favorite here no anything can happen in the next two days anything can happen in the next workout 60 plus category. Yep. Who won last year? Uh, his name is Scott Olson. He's not here this year. He has an injury. So. so but he was the guy I would have been, you know, that I thought that I'd be chasing. You wanted to compete. Yeah. Say hi to Scott. I will. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. I wish you were here. Hi, right, man. I'll keep in touch with you. Thank you. Yeah. It was awesome. It felt great. I had 15 seconds left, and I nailed it. So, yes. Yeah, judges kind of helped me out. I said, "Hey, you got very few seconds left." I didn't know how many, so I didn't even look at the clock. I just went out. That was a PR. Yeah. Congratulations. How many times have you done this? My first trip. To the game. Your first trips to the CrossFit Games. Yes, sir. What do you think about the venue? It's awesome. It's incredible. I'm more of a uh, ugly lifter. I'm not a real good lifter um, as far as overhead stuff, and I tend to press stuff out. So if I can get it up a little bit, I'll just press it out. Yeah. But I got, I mean, every one of those I battled, I got. So um, I took a too big of a jump on that last one probably for me, but 145 I think is a five-pound PR. Uh, you know, I had shoulder surgery. I, I wrote you and told you. So when the open came, I could have done it, but I just was being careful. You guys ready for this? Is there any strategy? Go. Go to the dark place. Yeah. Doctor. Doctor. Who's the doctor? Doctor. Doctor. She's the doctor. She's the chief of police. I'm an ER doctor. She's the chief of police. We shoot them. She fixes them. Oh. <laughs> 
Wow. Huh? Did you did you pull it out? I don't know. I think we both tied. I'm not sure. How do you balance being an ER doctor and a elite level fitness? It's super hard. I work the night shift so I can control my training schedule. But I basically like I try to work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so I can light train during those days when I wake up at like five. It's a lot of Olympic lifting. It's a lot of net cons. Last, it came down to the wire. Then. Well, I, I thought I had one rep to go, and he said one more, and I was ready to run. I had to step back and do another rep because I think I had him. I think I would have had him out of the shoe, but he's tough. Will's tough. So you were only like one step behind. Him. Yeah. For a big guy, you were hustling. You almost made it. <laughs> that's uh, that's the law enforcement background chasing bad guys. I am a police officer, 34 years. Um, I'm a SWAT guy. SWAT? SWAT, SWAT commander, yeah. Family man. My my kids, my, my daughter, and my son-in-law, who's also a police officer. My grandson's here. Good job, man. Um, everybody's having a lot of fun. How bad do you want this competition? Uh, I missed by one last year. I missed coming here by one one guy. It was 21st. So when I got here in sixth place this year, I was bound and determined to chase Will. <laughs> I thought I was going to have you. I said, I was like, not him again. <laughs> You're a good man, Will Powell. Yeah, I could hear him. Yeah, that was, right. that was he that heavy like, breathing. He weighed 300 pounds. <laughs> that's a heavy breathing. Yeah, that was awesome, man. It was great. You did a great yeah. job, right. too, Will. Good job. You good too, for man. you, man. Right. Good for you. You're going to come out the shoot. You're going to head me, then cut around me down to the guy with the other blue shirt, okay? Cool. Did you know coming in that you'd be sitting so hard? No. No, I mean, I qualified in second, but that doesn't mean anything. They're, you know, it's a new ball game once you get here, and everyone's been training really hard, so at the end of the day, it could be, you know, anyone's game. Like, How special is it? It's incredible. It's, you know, even to make the top 20 was just, you know, a huge, you know, tap on the back. So. City. Mary Frannis. Oh, Mary right. Frannis, yeah. A pretty average year for me, like just in terms of prep and changes and challenges and uh, you know, it's a privilege to be here again, you know, top 20 in the world. You know, I'd, I wouldn't have picked me for top top place, maybe I'll squeeze my way up into the podium. You know, 17th, I think I came into this, 11th, I'll probably squeeze now up into top 10 and, you know, just keep chipping away. Like, that's the year it's been for me, yeah, just chip away. Like you're going to pull that one out and it's just... I know, like, right? I, feel, I see, I think the old me would would have taken it in the last lap, you know, but, you know, there's a, uh, the competitor in me expects something from me and it's, I'm asking, but it's, it's not there. But I haven't been able to do the training, you know, for it to be there, so... I want what I want, but I also understand that I haven't worked enough to have that. That's a wrap. Yeah, it was a great day of balance, balance, dynamic work. Everybody throwing in, showing all kinds of different varieties of, of what CrossFit is all about, right? That constantly varied. And let me tell you, we're all so excited back there because it kind of showcased everybody's skills, everybody's talents, everybody's strengths, everybody's weaknesses. And now going into day two, it's great. It's, it's such a tight-knit group. The preparation you got to put in to repeat, is it similar? <laughs> it's not even close. Level? No, it it's so to much more. See, once you win it, like that's where that target comes, right? And then you got that high expectations. You got all that pressure that you never really had before. So joining with Doug Chapman, my volume increased. He threw out things like miles, swims, 10K rows on my rest day. Things that when I did this last workout, it was three minutes. I'm like, I started looking at the numbers. And I said, in the domain, I'm like, three minutes? Man, he's got to go, you know? So it's that mentality that's changed this year more than anything, knowing I put in the work, knowing I, I went to the grind every day so that when I come out here, my body and my mind is prepared. Well, I, I'm the national youth director for Battle Frog. So I deal with a lot of kids in schools. I mean, we have access to close to this next year, like I would say anywhere from 80 to 100,000 kids that we're going to be impacting. So what does it mean for those kids to see a guy like yourself? Representing that elite level fitness for, for the master community. 
just being active, whether you're not, if you're a professional athlete and you're out here and, and going at, you know, on a world-class stage, or you're just out there being active and living that lifestyle, that's more important than anything. And that's what these kids saw prior to me being a professional athlete. And let me tell you, they followed suit. They're a product of their environment. And they start developing, and that's the most beautiful thing of all. business life and your personal life? First of all, having a good coach, number one. Solid nutrition is really important. I mean, bad in, bad out, right? It takes a lot of hard work and dedication and to be motivated to work out all the time. Oh, more importantly is just enjoy it. You've got to love it or else there's no point doing it because it's a lot of training and yeah, if you love it, then, then you don't mind it. Uh, it takes a shitload of recovery. You know, everybody's willing to smash themselves and, and um, you know, masters are no uh, different to any younger athlete. We're all willing to do that, but you've got to put as much time back into your body as you kind of take out with the training. That's my secret and everything green. Drink green things, eat green things. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, laugh at the whole bloody thing, right?